The world's most advanced aircraft carriers are no longer preparing only for threats from the sky. They are now preparing for threats from beneath the waves. And China's newest supercarrier, the CNS Fujian, has just revealed one of the most game-changing systems in modern naval warfare. Mounted discreetly along its hull, photographed during recent sea trials are what appeared to be China's first operational interceptor torpedoes, a defensive weapon designed not to attack ships, but to destroy incoming torpedoes before they strike. This is the underwater equivalent of shooting down a missile with another missile, a last-ditch shield that defends a carrier from the deadliest weapon ever aimed at naval fleets, the heavyweight submarine-launched torpedo. For decades, torpedoes were considered almost impossible to stop once launched. They travel underwater, they maneuver, and they strike with devastating kinetic and explosive energy. Even the most sophisticated aircraft carrier becomes vulnerable when a modern submarine closes in. But the Fujian's new system suggests that China is no longer willing to accept that vulnerability. Interceptor torpedoes operate on a brutally tight timeline. The ship's sonar first detects the incoming threat, artificial intelligence classifies its signature, then in seconds a small high-speed defensive torpedo is fired directly into the water to meet the incoming weapon head-on. The goal is simple, destroy the attacker before it reaches lethal range. It's a concept the United States once explored through the ATTDS program, but abandoned in 2019 after running into enormous technical challenges. Tracking a fast, quiet torpedo underwater is already difficult. Intercepting it with another torpedo is exponentially harder. Water density, acoustic interference, cavitation, and unpredictable motion make underwater interception one of the most complex problems in military engineering. But China's apparent resurrection of this technology and its deployment on a frontline carrier indicates a major breakthrough. In fact, Washington has quietly restarted its own anti-torpedo system this year, pushed back into the race by China's progress. With this new defensive layer, the Fujian isn't just an aircraft carrier. It becomes the center of a multi-domain, multi-layered shield capable of defending itself from threats above the waterline, on the surface, and now deep below. It is the strongest signal yet that China is designing its carrier strike groups for future wars against peer competitors, not small regional skirmishes. For submarines, this system forces an uncomfortable evolution. Long-held strategies will no longer be reliable. Instead of stalking a carrier from medium distances, a submarine may be forced to get dangerously close before launching, reducing reaction time and increasing the risk of being detected or counterattacked. Alternatively, submarines may shift toward long-range missile strikes, firing anti-ship cruise missiles from hundreds of kilometers away and merging into coordinated saturation attacks with aircraft and surface vessels. But even that carries risks. A missile gives away a submarine's location more easily than a torpedo. And with new airborne and space-based tracking technologies, the ocean is becoming more transparent than ever before. What China is building is not just a carrier, it is a floating node in a broader combat network that stretches across sonar buoys, unmanned underwater vehicles, Type 055 destroyers, and land-based surveillance systems. The Fujian's interceptor torpedoes are a small, visible clue of a much larger invisible architecture forming beneath the waves. An architecture designed to keep the carrier alive long enough to project power far beyond Chinese shores. For navies around the world, this development is a wake-up call. It forces a rethinking of submarine warfare, torpedo design, and anti-carrier strategies. It speeds up the race towards smarter torpedoes, faster countermeasures, more powerful sonar suites, and AI-driven underwater combat. And for the first time, it suggests that the underwater battlefield, once the quietest domain of war, may become just as fast, dynamic, and contested as the skies above. The Fujian's new system doesn't just defend a ship, it reshapes the rules of naval survival itself. This is Mighty Military. Stay tuned for more deep dives into the technologies transforming modern warfare.